Hey Dell friends, welcome back. So, like I said in my last one, we're going to do a cleaning out the closet video um, where I just sort of take stock of all the stuff I have and decide what I'm keeping and what I'm getting rid of. This is also the, uh, I think the first time I've ever like shown off everything I have, so it's kind of like a haul video. If you like that sort of thing, you will like this. Let's see, what do we have on the table? The first thing, so the little outfit you saw I put her in, um, this is for a photo shoot, I'm keeping that. Um, these are her shorts that she's been wearing for, um, for, uh, figure posing, um, for my drawings, so definitely need those. Um, I've got these two things on the table. These are two wigs that we bought, um, that, uh, we are getting rid of. So I'm just going to put those out of frame because it's kind of big. All right, so let's go through stuff, actually. Let's go through the bigger box first. Uh, this, this whole thing is full of like dull stuff. All right, first up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So first up, the sleeping bags. You guys might have seen, I never showed you the pictures because they were only for Patreon, ha! But uh, I showed you the video, I think, the like making of. So I made them these sleeping bags that uh, are super, super nice. There we go. So I've got one for Kizuna, I've got one for Kanata. Um, sleeping bags, what do I do with these? These are still really good for transporting, and honestly, I was super excited about this idea. Um, they are obviously massive, you know, but the dolls themselves are like two feet long, so they kind of have to be. Um, but I thought that they'd be really good carrying cases. I never added like a, a hook for like a carabiner on the back, but that's what I was planning on doing. So sleeping bags, are they going or staying? I think simply for storing them, like long term, I'd probably store them in here because it's super, super soft on the inside. And maybe I'll make a video like in the future about how I made these, if I still have the pattern somewhere. But I think the sleeping bags have to stay. So. We're gonna put those down there because they're big. What else? Oh. Okay. Let's see. Cardigan. I think we gotta keep the cardigan because cardigan's cute. This is just a blanket that we made them that can go. Let's see. Ooh. I think we gotta keep this one. We gotta keep this one too. This is a little like adventuring cloak that I made, it'd probably be more interesting if I slightly showed what they look like, right? Let's put the cardigan and the shorts on that side. Move my microphone. Over to that side. So I made them like this adventuring cloak. So we're definitely gonna keep that because that's kind of like, it's close to my own interests and hobbies. So that goes in the keep pile. Um, two Santa hats, gotta keep those for Christmas, right? Boop. Oh man, this is something else that I should have done like an unboxing and try on video for. But I actually bought them these little like military vests. These are beer koozies or like drink koozies, like you're supposed to Put a drink around it so that you can feel extra machismo while you like drink your drink. I don't know. Anyway, they're not like perfectly made for smart dolls, so maybe I will do like a try on video. But I bought these uh, these two, just like desert one and this green one, um, for more like video and uh, picture ideas. This was another example of a project that I never got around to. So. At least for now, even though these were super cheap, at least for now, we will keep these and try to do some kind of video with it. Um, and we can talk about where we got them, how much they were. So we'll keep those. Um, oh, this is all the tent supplies. I made them a tent. If you saw in that video, there was like a an orange tent. Um, probably not going to keep the tent stuff because I'm just not going to use it. Let's be real. So. Put that over there. Uh, we still have the bags. I don't know if I'll keep the bags. Um, I'll put them down there for now. Let's see. 
there was a time when we were buying like as much as many like accessories as we could we found these little hats for them at like hobby lobby and craft stores the little hats are awesome um especially because they're so inexpensive they're like a dollar or two um this one i don't think we even ever used in a photo shoot did we put it on your head there you go um i don't think i've ever used this one but the uh it doesn't really feel like Kanata style. It was more just like if we were taking like country photos, uh, which is why I got it, right? Um, but the hats, we'll probably get rid of. Apparently I have another hat, but I only have two dolls, so I'll get rid of that one. Oh, this is the nice like red auburn wig. We'll keep this one. I may end up using this one for the photo shoot this weekend. I don't know. Um, I really like Kanata's black hair, but the... Uh, the red wig is nice, so we'll keep that one. Okay. You guys have probably seen this in a recent video. So we have these like nice scarf. This one's kind of a boa, but it's still a scarf. These nice scarves um, that we golf got from a smart look studio. So any gifts that I ever receive, I always keep, no questions. So um, if people are, you know, willing to put in the, the time and love to make and send you something, um, you, I, I always keep it. So anyway, we'll, keep, we'll definitely keep those, especially because we haven't gotten to use those in photos. Um, this was also a gift from our friend Elise. Um, let's see. I don't think I ever used this in photos either, did I? Probably not. Uh, maybe one. Anyway, uh, it's like a shawl blanket thing um, from this uh, anime that I really like. And again, I didn't really use that. So maybe like this fall I can take another like camping outdoor fire kind of photo shoot um, and I'll use that. Again, that was a gift though. So it goes in the key pile always. Um, what else? Oof. Okay. So. Like I've said multiple times, I, I have a ton of these like projects that I was constantly working on, things that I wanted to do that I just never got around to. So I'm going to show you some of those. Um, sorry if that's loud on the microphone. And then I will likely get rid of them. So one of the things that I that I did was I did like a lot of 3D printing. Um, here's one of like an oversized grenade that actually fits. I think it fits in this hand. I ended up making them slightly smaller because I liked the way the smaller ones look, but the big ones are still cool. Anyway, this was a little prototype. Um, I'm not going to keep any of this stuff. Um, here was a prototype for the uh, Sheikah Slates from, um, what is that, the Breath of the Wild Zelda game. Let's see, uh, a little gun. You guys probably don't want to see that. Um, here are some cool prototypes that I sanded down. Um, does anybody recognize these before I tell you? <laughs> Here's one that I colored that's a little bit smaller. So these are energy swords from uh, Halo. And again, this is like one of those things that's like, oh, well, you know, I still, I still have them. They're, they're almost complete. Like maybe I should just hold on to them to, uh, you know, to make it. Like their hand holds it really well too, you know. Um, maybe I should just finish it, you know. But yeah, these are energy swords from Halo. I'm a huge nerd, so I was like, man, how come people don't have props like this for, for the dolls? Anyway, I wanted to make those at one point, but just didn't. Here's a little radio prototype that's huge. Um, here's May's uh, ice gun. Should do it like the gurus do. There you go. Um, May's like, ice gun from Overwatch. Another little grenade. Here are some uh, an antler rack doesn't even stay on. Anyway, that was kind of fun for a photo shoot or two. Another little radio that's more proper size. And this was the thing I was most excited about and got closest to finishing before I gave up all my dreams. Um, I doubt you guys probably recognize this either. You recognize that? This is a crown that belongs to a character from a video game that I was and kind of still am obsessed with. Um, but if you don't know the game and you don't recognize what I'm doing here, then it probably doesn't matter. But anyway, it's a little crown. I wanted to make a hair clip out of these. 
Um, I made two of them to near completion. They still needed a little bit of paint, but anyway. Um, I really wanted to make these, and I was getting really into it, and then my 3D printer broke and my dreams fell apart, so I didn't. So, 3D printed stuff, it's gonna go. Alright, what else do we got? Um, this, I made a couple of like squid hats. Um, these I really liked, and they're just made out of, uh, what is this stuff? Um, fleece, they're just fleece squid hats. Um, but uh, again, like I don't really take photos anymore. Um, so, those are going. Um, that is not smart doll related. Another hat. This is a really pretty hat, actually. I really like the way that one looks. Let's put her more center frame so you can see. I really like this hat. It's pretty. You can also wear it the other way, too, so that you don't have to see the, the like, ribbon or whatever. But if I end up, um, like, selling or giving away of my whole lot of like unused stuff that'll be in there too. Okay, we're near the end of the box. Um, this is Kanata's walking stick, which I just made out of a dowel, painted it with some streaks, and uh, wrapped some twine and glued it. Um, I was planning on doing some like adventuring photos way back in like November, but I just didn't get around to it. So, um, Ooh, this is cool. So I made a huge order of postcards of, of photo that I really liked and like this like concept that I really liked uh, of the girls. And uh, then I did like a postcard exchange and I sent a couple out like just as like a just as like a thank you or, or something like that. Anyway, uh, I have a ton of these and nothing to do with them. So I will either hold on to those or they will just go in the trash so that I can forget about uh, all the sad times. Um, these are photos from you guys, so I will keep those. Let's see. This is cool. This is a frame that I painted on both sides when I was planning on doing these like really nice photo shoots. Um, for Patreon, this was one of the things that I was gonna do. Um, I had an idea to do like an old Victorian style photo shoot um, I don't want to give the entire idea away, but in case this inspires you, um, go look for these things at like hobby shops. These are cool. Um, I don't know if I might be able to use this for like just photos that we have. Um, so maybe we'll keep that, but that won't be for her. That'll just be for us. Um, let's see. So we got letters and stuff. I don't want to show you guys too much of stuff in case it's HD quality and you can read all the deets. Um, here's some postcards from all you awesome people who sent me postcards. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And this one was a letter, which was nice. So we'll hold on to those. You guys are awesome. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, these are all just my like smart doll bags. I kept them, but I don't. I don't do anything with them. I don't know. I'll probably get rid of those too. Let's see. Yeah, the wig holders. Um. Yeah, that's kind of it. Honestly, this is just packaging. I'm not sure why I kept this one. Maybe for like resale value or something. But I don't really plan on reselling Kanata. So. Anyway, there's her box. I'll probably keep that. Um. Let's see. And that's it for the huge box. Here's the smaller box with all the more interesting things. Um, let's see, first up is we have a little notebook. Um, this again was a gift, so we keep those. Um, this is her eyeglass case, which she has glasses that are upstairs with the extra hands, so we'll keep those. Um, let's see, these are little jewelry things that we made her. Um, I really like this one, feels kind of like earthy. Or for a crunchy type, I like that. 
um, considering Kanata's supposed to be like an outdoorsy type. Uh, here is a like actual pearl set that I made her, and then here is a um, what do you call it like a Nautilus necklace that I made her. I really like all of these things, but honestly, these will probably have to go as well. So just don't do photos. This was a gift from one of you guys, so I'm definitely keeping that. That's really cute. I was planning on using that for the outdoor photo shoot. Um, let's see. Again, another little gift, the sewing box. Here's all these like little Christmas decors that I used for... She has that like shop stand that I built her out of wood. So we will actually get rid of these. Um, what else we got? Shoes, okay. Oops. So these are a pair of like red flats that actually look really good. I'll put that in the undecided. I'm still not sure what I'm doing with the shoes. We'll put that in the undecided. Um, her hat. Not only is this awesome and from a game that I love, but uh, I haven't gotten to use this for any photos. Plus, if she's just going to be sitting on the shelf, you know, she might as well look cool. Let's see. This is just packaging stuff. Uh, little foods, that was a gift, so we keep um, a bracelet, we'll keep that. Uh, a headband that we made her, nope. Um, I practiced making like wands for some amount of time. Probably not going to keep those. Um, here's a really cool concept that I never did. I wanted to use her cart, um, her like sales cart for um, like doing different themed photo shoots, right? And so I made her these like hanging signs and this little board. Can you guess what the concept was? Three seconds? All right. It was for a sushi stand. I also made her this like crab thing that I was gonna attach to the top. Let's see. But, dreams fail. Uh, here, this is cool. This is a little wand prop that we got from Target, I think, for like two bucks. It's made out of metal, and it's from like the Harry Potter universe. Uh, I haven't done anything with that. Might keep it. Might keep it for like my own decorations um, around the house. And then there's just a ton of like other little props in here, like candy canes. Like the very first year, I think for Christmas, I sent out candy canes to all you guys with your orders. Here's like a little passport. I don't know if there's anything else I can do with that. All this, all these tiny things are probably gonna go. Here are some gingerbread men that I was going to do for another Christmas shoot where she was like baking. Those will have to go. They're all in here, so I'll just leave them. Um, here are some food props. These were gifts from one of you guys, so keeping that. Here's her knife for the sushi stand, so that's got to go. Another bracelet. Let's see. Oh man, this is, yeah, okay. So, my general sort of rule about, like, things in general, because I tend to be more utilitarian, is if you put something away and you haven't thought about it in, like, I mean, you can say a year, but if you haven't thought about it in a couple months, um, then there's no point in keeping it. Uh, so this was all the sushi stuff that I made for the set. Oh my gosh, I really, really enjoyed this. So I've got an onigiri. I have a rice bowl. Um, I have a ton of, I'm going to see if I can just show you guys. I have a ton of like little uh, sushi rolls that were cut um, that are cool. And then here's the thing that I was most most excited about is I made these like little octopus tails, right? But that's all for the, for the sushi photo shoot that I was going to do. Um, I'm just going to use these as decorations for my own, uh, sorry, for my own like art room. So I just keep those, keep the little box. Let's see, she's got this like utility belt that uh, you can put the grenades in. Like I was selling the utility belt and the little grenades for a while. Um, you could put other stuff in here too though. You could put like pencils and things like that. So it's kind of fun. But um, that, was a, that was a big learning opportunity for me. This will go too. Um, the shoes I'm undecided about, but the shoes will probably go. Um, a little catalog that's not actually a catalog. When you order from 99 style, that'll go. Uh, Sheikah Slate. I feel like I should like immortalize this. This is my last Sheikah Slate that's for her. I'll probably keep that. Um, a garter belt. 
um, for more photo shoots that I'm not going to do. The other shoe, or no, not the other shoe, the one shoe. There's a little flashlight. Whoops, sorry if that blinded you. Uh, we'll keep that. That was a gift. Um, here's her hammer for the um, camping photo shoot. I'll probably keep that. Um, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe there's no reason. There's no reason. Let's be real here. Um, the ribbon that came with her when I ordered, I'll keep that. Um, these were little blankets that we used for her cart. I'll get rid of those. These are brand new, completely unused angel wings. This was for another photo shoot uh, idea. <laughs> you can see the trend here. So this is for another photo shoot idea that didn't happen and wasn't going to happen. But let's see if you can, you can kind of imagine the, uh, the idea here, right? It's going to be like a Victoria's Secret type thing. Um, you also need a lot of, uh, a lot of clothes to do things like that. So that's the other thing. Along with getting rid of all my stuff, or a lot of it, um, I'm not going to be doing haul videos anymore because uh, if I'm not doing stuff with dolls, I shouldn't be ordering stuff for dolls. Um, so that's kind of out of the way. We're not doing haul videos unless I like randomly receive things um, that I can show off. Um, and doll clothes are super expensive. Even though I want like an amazing little rain jacket or a new like kimono or something like that. Um, it's hard for me, especially this year when like money is terrible because of coronavirus. It's hard for me to imagine spending um, a lot of money on a little jacket. You know, I mean, like I love it. Like those things are awesome and they deserve to cost that much, but um, I'm not going to do it. Uh, here's a headband that I won't show you because she's got a hat on. Here's a little basket, another little prop that looks really cute. This was her sushi headband. Um, I'm going to take those off. Put this over here. Take the hat off. Put the hat on the keeps. Make sure I'm not throwing anything where it shouldn't. Here is a little burger that I made out of clay, just like the sushi. Keep that for decoration. More little knickknacks, a second stand. Um, this is an interesting memory because uh, it's like a little messenger bag concept that I was messing around with because I really wanted a bag, but just didn't want to pay a ton of money for it. Um, so I made my own, and uh, I think it's kind of a cool idea. It was modeled after a, uh, um, a messenger bag that I actually had for a while. It looks okay on her. Um, it needed to be shorter. Um, but, uh, yeah, during Thanksgiving a couple years back, I got really sick, and so I stayed up all night making this because I couldn't sleep. Uh, that'll go. I just got some business cards from some of you guys. Um, thank you. This is an old toothbrush that we use. Not an old toothbrush, but we never used it. Um, that we used for brushing the hair, and I quickly found out this is a terrible idea. Don't use a toothbrush. It grabs the hair so much because of how many bristles there are, use a comb, use a comb. Um, the box that our uh, $200 hiking shoes came in, I'm gonna keep that uh, just to go with the shoes. I like that they personalized it. Here's the little sale sign. It says hot cocoa sale on the other side. Um, again, never coming back to that. So uh, a little notebook that was a gift, so we keep. Here's a little flag thing. I think I posted a picture of her with that like once. Get rid of that. Let me check the time. Okay, that's already super long. Um, I'm going to cut it into pieces. Uh, so this video is gonna be super long. Uh, I'm gonna cut it into pieces if I can. And let's just start the second one.